Supplies for this pattern will simply need a pair of scissors, our darning needle in order to weave in our ends. For this, I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook and we'll need some yarn because these, they do, if you spill or anything, I tend to wash them often. So for this, I'm actually using cotton yarn, a number four weight. To begin, we're gonna start and create a magic ring. And then we chain one. And then into the magic ring, we're going to put eight half double crochets. Once you have your eight half double crochets into the ring, we're going to take our tail and pull it in order to close. And then from here, we're going to the top of that very first half double crochet. We're going to slip stitch into there in order to join the round. And yes, I'm gonna be working my tail end into my work around and there we are for round one for round two we're going to chain one and then working into this very first stitch where we slip stitch two to join we're going to put two half double crochets And then we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch all the way around. So this round will end up doing a total of 16 half double crochets. And then at the end, we're going to slip stitch again into that very first half double crochet of the round in order to join. And there we are for round two. For round three, once again, chain one. Then into that very first stitch, we're going to put two half double crochets. This is the same stitch where we slip stitch to join. And then one half double crochet into your next stitch. For our next spot, we're gonna chain two and then skip one and then put one half double crochet into your next. Essentially what we're going to do here is put two half double crochets into your first stitch, one half double crochet into your next stitch and repeat this all the way around. But basically what we're doing right here is we got to make the hole for where we can put our straw in order to still drink through our cup with the cover on it. So instead of putting two half double crochets, we did a chain two plus a skip one and then just continued. So we're going to repeat our pattern throughout the entire round. So the two half double crochets into your first, one half double crochet into your next, and we're gonna repeat all the way around until we're back at the other side. And then slip stitch into your first half double crochet of the round in order to join. And there we are for round three. 
and here's where we have our small opening for our straw. For round four, once again, chain one. And then same as with our others, we're gonna put two half double crochets into that very first stitch. One half double crochet into your next two stitches. Now that we're here at the chain two space, what we're going to do, because our repeat should be two half double crochet into your first stitch, one half double crochet into your next two stitches, we're gonna end up putting three half double crochets into the chain two space. And then one half double crochet into your next stitch. So we did our, if we're looking at it, this was the two double crochet, half double crochets into the first one into the next, which covers that chain two space. And then our one into the very one after. And we're just gonna repeat all the way around two half double crochets into your first stitch, one half double crochet into your next two stitches. And then at the end, we're going to slip stitch into that very first half double crochet of the round in order to join. And there we are for round four. For round five, we're gonna chain one. And then if we look, we have our front loops, the ones loops closest to us, and our back loops, so the ones farthest away from us. We're gonna be working into these back loops only. So we're gonna put one half double crochet into each of the back loops going all the way around. So we're going to do a total of 32 half double crochets for round five, working only in the back loops. And then at the end, we're going to slip stitch into this very first half double crochet of the round in order to join. So as you can see from this round, it's taking the project and creating like a little edge onto it so that we have our shape to come over the lip of our jar. For our sixth and final row, once again, chain one. And then we're gonna work in both loops and we're gonna half double crochet once into each of our next 32 stitches. And yes, we're gonna start in the same stitch where we slip stitch to join. And then at the end, we're gonna slip stitch into this very first half double crochet of the round in order to join. Pull up our loop and tie off. And then go ahead and weave in any ends that we have. And there we are. We have our mason jar drink lid. 
great for keeping any of those pesky little summer bugs. And if you have a sweet drink, my big thing is all those lovely bees being kept out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a little thumbs up like. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit smash that little subscribe button with that bell notification next to it so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.